welcome to India Brady Art. Look what I have. I have one more name to put in the hope box. Actually, I actually have two names. There's one story behind this name, but I've got Tammy Morgan. We're just gonna go in the box. Okay, let me put this away somewhere where, oh. Let me put this somewhere where it won't get knocked over. My table is not that big. And it's full of junk. <laughs> anyway, uh, I had posted a video when was it? Yesterday? No, early. I think it was early, early this morning, about 2 o'clock a.m. And um, there was something wrong with it. You couldn't see the video, but you could hear the audio. And I would not have known this had it not, for been, not had been for a subscriber by the name of Annie. And I think her last name is Fulton. Um, you know, I could be wrong, and I, I probably am, because I remember the name Annie, because that's my mom's name. Um, but Annie, if you are out there, please leave me a comment, um, because I know that you did enter the giveaway, um, but I need to get your last name for my records um so annie if you're out there watching please get a hold of me somehow email uh in you know in the comments because i'm so grateful to you that you were the first one to see it and i corrected it right away i took the video down so Technologically, things are still not going right for me, but I'm, I'm forging on. Anyway, I think that's all the announcements that I have. The giveaway is still going on. Um, if you are a new subscriber and you want to enter the giveaway, look in the subscription box below this video. And I will have rules and prizes that are list that will be listed underneath this video in the description box. Okay, now <laughs> I got a couple of gifts. I'm so excited. Um, Patricia Davis sent me this gift. It's a two part gift from my Amazon wish list and it says a gift for you enjoy your gift from Patricia A Davis and what it is I know Wanda did this in a a few videos back um but these are these are listed as hummingbirds and when I got to looking at it and I thought they don't, to me, they don't look like hummingbirds. I mean, the beak is not long enough and it's too wide. Anyway, I'm not going to color them like hummingbirds. But, and the reason why I have these in a tray is because, first of all, my table's not big enough. So, and then this is the tree of life. And, um, you know, this, all of these are wall art. And what I'm going to do with the birds is I'm going to take my Passion Base Cell White. And for those of you that are new, it's just white. It's a white paste um, for resin. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix in some Arteza's Crystal White. You can't, y'all can't see that in there. What the heck am I doing? 
Um, it's a silver white, which might give it a little bit of a shine. And I'm looking <laughs> for somewhere to put this. I need to go through here and, you know, just organize. Okay, now, oh, for this big old sucker, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these uh, different color crushed glass and I'm going to mix them together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take that off there. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a line across down here. And then I'm going to take, uh-oh, I forgot a brown. I'm going to um, find a brown mica powder and I will um, pour, you know, inside the tree trunk and go on up. And I'm probably going to stop about here and in places that look like tree branches, um, put some brown in there, but I want to make it look like it's, um, the leaves are changing colors, like in the fall, because if I made it all brown and green, it'd be boring looking, right? So, gotta add a, have a little color here. So, I've picked out, uh, let's see, Lorez Expressions Peacock Dance, which is a beautiful, if I can get it off, it's a, like a beautiful, I don't know, like a greenish blue, like a teal, maybe. I don't know how that's going to work out, though. That's not really a green green. I might use that. I might not. Anyway. And then I'm going to use Lorez Expressions Port Wine Paste. And you'll remember this from the quilt-looking toilet paper roller thingy design that I made. Okay, that I need to use. And then I'm going to use Arteza's Royal Orange Mica Powder and Arteza's Tangerine Orange Mica Powder because there's different oranges and different yellows and Lemongrass Green, which is, looks like yellow. Anyway. Those are the colors that I'm going to be using. I don't know about this one yet. I, yeah, I doubt it. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is, oh, gosh, I almost forgot. My other gift uh, is from Miss Wanda from Wanda's Blessed Creations. Uh, that's the name of her YouTube channel. And it says, enjoy your gift. Love you, Ms. India. God bless from Wanda. And they're Let's Resin's Metallic Alcohol Inks. And there's two golds, two silvers, and two rose golds. I love these bottles because they, you can look at them and then after you're finished, because you have to shake them up really well because they are metallic. Not that you don't have to shake any other kind of alcohol ink, but, but yeah, you can see how well you have shaken up your, or 
yeah, not only shaking up your ink, but you can see that there's a deposit right there. It's not shaking up very well. So it needs to be shaked. I, I love these bottles. Anyway, thank you so much, Patricia and Miss Wanda. Love you guys. Hopefully I will do right by all of my stuff. I'm so excited, so excited. Anyway, ah, okay, let me let y'all go and I will, I gotta go mix up my resin and I will be back. Okay, y'all, so I've got my resin mixed and I'm taking my passion base cell white and mixing it in with the uh, Arteza's crystal white mica. And I put, I remembered to put my mica powders in the cup first before my resin because there are some mica powders that are so fine that they will float around in the air. So if you can remember, put those in the cup first. I think it might be that mica powder. I can't remember. I think it might have been that one. I'm not sure, but yeah, unless unless you have, you know, mica powder that is so super fine and just to have it float all around the place, I guess you don't really understand what could happen. So most of the times I'm heavy handed and I need to improve on that, but um, just these are just straightforward. And what I do is when I pour my resin, I just don't, unless I really know how much the mold is going to take, I just won't dump a bunch of resin in there. Um, just uh, pour a little bit and then let it run, let it settle where it wants to settle. And then if you need to go back and pour in some more. So those are done and I've, I have a ton of key rings and earrings and <laughs> that I've made from leftover resin and I'm yeah I have way too many too much stuff so what I'm doing is I have this crystal tower mold and what I'm going to do is every time I have leftover resin I'll just pour it in here and wrestle it when it's time to demold And I've got chocolate brown uh, mica from Arteza. And I'm taking the crushed glass. I used gold. Um, I guess that's a rose gold down at the bottom left hand corner. Um, I'm not sure. I think it was a lighter gold that I used. And I just mix those up together. Then I pour in my resin. And I want it super opaque. Um, I wanted it to be the consistency of sand. You know, I have some sand, darn it. I could have put sand down at the bottom. Oh man, oh well. 
So since it's not a super runny consistency, as opposed to just pouring regular resin in there, um, since it's so gloppy, I had to take a stick, a stir stick, and feed it into those areas. And I'm strictly doing this on just a small part at the bottom. The area of coverage is not that wide, but I kind of wanted to give it a textured look. I could have gone up farther. Um, now that I look at the finished project, I could have gone up further but I didn't have enough glass uh, to go up that far. I only had those three uh, little packets. And I think I have more now that I think about it. I think I do have more. I uh, just wasn't really thinking about it at the time. But hindsight's twenty twenty. So that's all I'm going to do with that. Now I got the base, my base layered. And I'm just going to go in and just fill in different areas. I'm kind of drawing that paste. Well, it's not really paste, it's just thick. <laughs> and I tried to take tape and because those were uh, glass. At least it's a kind of a good video to let you know how you can clean clean up as you go, I guess. So now I'm taking the um, chocolate brown mica powder from Arteza and just mixing it in with the resin so I can do the tree trunk and the rest of the roots. If y'all hear traffic outside, my office desk is right next to the street. It's right in front of the window. And the more the more and more people that move out here um, are going to realize that the street that I live on is a shortcut. And oh, I would say about, oh gosh, maybe six or seven years ago, we were noticing more and more traffic come down the street. And it's, yeah, it's just gotten worse and worse. Especially during like people going to work and people coming home from work. I mean, it's, it's, I feel like I'm living along the highway. You know, like a freeway. Anyway, I digress. So I'm just, right now, I'm just going through and seeing if there are other places where I want to put that brown. And nope. So I just poured that brown right on top of that uh, white. I don't know what it'll do. I think I messed it up because later on I did stir the colors together somewhat. I didn't stir them all together to where it 
I would get like a really funky color. I did it just to marble the colors together. So now I'm just preparing to work with my other colors. And I wanted all the colors to be opaque, you know, especially that the tree trunk, but, or at least I didn't want it transparent. I wanted everything to be opaque. Now you could work with um, the, what do you call it, alcohol inks, and you can make it someone tra somewhat transparent that way. That would be pretty to do this mold um, with the alcohol inks. So right now I'm just trying to get rid of my resin because I know that I'm not going to use all that resin. So I'm wiping off my stick really well because it's not really a good idea to take the stick that you mix your resin with and put it inside your paste or so I've heard but it does you know it kind of does make sense because you don't want that resin floating around with your paste so I'm just mixing everything really well you want to make sure that your micas are mixed in really well because if not when you get finished pouring these little spots will occur and their um, mica that's not that has not been mixed in Yeah, it seems like the lighter the colors, the, the more color you need, as opposed to the darker colors. Okay, so we're all ready. Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to get organized because there's a specific order that I was trying to keep. And there's no method to my madness or there is madness to my method though, but uh, I just didn't want all the leaves to be, to kind of be I just want them variegated because when, you know, actually when you look out in a forest that has tons and tons of leaves that are all shades of yellow and red and orange, I mean, they're, they're not really defined. It's, it's like you're looking out on a field of color. And I kind of wished I would have used my um, ATD Fireball Red in here because it would have made the piece pop a little bit. Because that ATD Fireball 
pigment paste is a deep red. It's not dark like that. Um, what do you what do you call it? Port. Yeah, it's not deep like that port wine. So yeah, I can I can see a few places where the color could have been less boring. And those cups are great to have because you can you can really control the tip. And in this case, yeah, you really have to control the tip. <laughs> There's so many crevices and you really have to pay attention because you could really mess up super easy if you don't pour in the right place. So yeah, this, this one took a little bit of time. I just wanted it, yeah, I just wanted it to have more color. I should have put that on my, what do you call it? Lazy Susan. I should have put it on that. I just, I always forget that I have a Lazy Susan until it's too late. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, oh yeah, I had a, I have a Lazy Susan. So basically, I'm finished with the piece, and then now what I'm going to do is pour the rest, the leftover resin inside that uh, tower mold. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is take a stick and do a cross in the, you know, kind of give it a marble effect. I don't know how that's going to work. Cause I don't think I stuck the stick in far enough. I don't know. We'll see. That's one good thing about deeper molds is that you, you can kind of create a pattern inside your resin as long as you don't overdo it and, you know, mix, mix your colors up all together. So, yep, I am finished. And it's cured. <laughs> Everything cured, mostly. It's been a little over 24 hours. And they were kind of bendy, but not, they weren't bad at all. So, yeah, they... They came out white. Um, what what I wanted that the crystal, the crystal white mica powder. I kind of wanted it to have a shine on that white, and I don't think I used very much, but but I think it's kind of neat to have the birds just 
you know, go bam and be all white. Because maybe when it's hung on the wall, <laughs> the, <laughs> the tree won't look so dark. Oh, Lordy. And I was kind of having a hard time getting it started because, you know, it's got all, all of those angles. And I thought, oh, no, I don't want to tear up the mold and wreck my, you know, wreck my project. So I turned it over, as you can see, and I'm peeling it very slowly. I'm putting pressure on my project and then pulling up the mold. Because, yeah, I mean, if you just yank it apart, it's it's going to, you know, eventually it's either going to tear your mold or it's going to wear it out to where it will lose its shape. And you don't want that. And that's it. <laughs> yep, I'm just looking at it and oh. Yeah, that's the back. There's the front. Yeah. Oh. That that doesn't pass with me, but let me know what you think in the comments and please like this video. Um if you want, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It makes my numbers go up. And um, until next time, dare to create. Picture coming. <laughs>